Do you want some ideas about adding a little style without much work? If so, here it is. Here's a display of late summer flowers planted by Westminster, where I live. This is a sculptured tree seen outside somebody's house. A lot more effort has gone into creating this. These are carrots, but the way that they've been arranged in wonderful colours really does make them different. These carrots have been cooked and the centres have been removed with a leaf-shaped cutter. You may think this is worth it or you may not. If you're interested in design, you can make runner beans look like this. Of course, if you just leave them long or chop them up roughly, they'll still taste the same. You may think that a collection of gadgets in your kitchen is what you need, but what I'm going to show you is that you need the simplest things, and today it's just a knife and fork. Here I'm using the sharp knife to show you what I'm doing with an English cucumber to make something more interesting than ordinary sandwiches. I've cut the top off the cucumber and then using an ordinary kitchen fork, I'm pulling it down a few inches so that it's deep into the skin of the cucumber. You turn it around so that the whole thing is done and then you just cut it with the sharp knife. Here are the slices ready to be used. You'll see that they look a little bit like a flower and you might think it's worth the effort. This is going to form part of what I call tea with a difference. And I'm starting with some brioche rolls which have been split in half and buttered. To go with them are the attractively sliced cucumber slices. Here's the fun part. This is Gouda cheese, which has already been pre-cut into thin slices, and I've made these shapes by using a cutter. Here you can see the savoury part of this meal. Here it is, and I really do hope you like it.